Hello and welcome to O10. Uh, my name is Rogers and I'd like to take this opportunity to introduce you to the Health Services Assistant qualification that we offer at O10. Um, one of the things that uh, we cover in our qualification is how do we best provide patient care in an acute setting or in a community setting such as the residential aged care facility. And uh, as part of your training, we'll be making sure that you are able to ensure proper documentation, skills and expertise, you must be able to work within a team and when I'm say working within a team, you'll be working in a multidisciplinary team where you'll have the doctors, the nurses, the social workers, the physiotherapist and your speech therapist and most importantly, um, you will be trained in this qualification in order to provide client care. So when I talk about client care, we'll be teaching you how to look after your patient and in terms of making sure that you are able to take vital observations and how you can report any abnormalities to this observation and most importantly in this qualification we will be teaching you how to make a holistic assessment of the patient that you are looking after in a hospital or a community care setting. The great thing uh, for you would be that if you do choose to study this qualification with us we will give you an amazing experience at our Kingswood facility and that's where we are. So Kingswood facility uh, is a place where we provide this simula uh, simulation training and in terms of using equipments that are realistic based training and you will see that when we are teaching you vital observations we can actually program uh, the observations that we want you to assess the patient on and then we can check to see how accurate you are. So we will be using state-of-the-art technology in order to provide patient care and we will have a monitoring system that will show you what happens in hospital environment and also we will be using equipment that doctors and nurses and clinicians use in the hospital at this time. So everything that we will be teaching you in this qualification is current and the great thing is the teachers and the trainers that will be delivering this qualification are industry current means they are actually working in a hospital setting they're clinicians and they have got this vast knowledge and skills in order to provide the best possible patient care so you might ask okay well that's what you will learn if you do choose this qualification with us. So why study with O10? The great thing about studying with O10 is that you can study at your own pace. It is flexible learning. You can be anywhere in the world and access your OLS. The OLS is the system and the platform where all our resources will be and we will have demonstration videos as well. We will use teaching tools such as Adobe Connect and our Facebook is one of our tools that we use and if you are in remote and rural areas we will be using Skypes in, in order to make sure there is a connection between you and myself or you and your other trainers. We will also offer blended delivery which means that you can do the online um, resources and assessment task and then come to the Kingswood facility where I am right now and in this environment you will be learning how to provide patient care that is realistic to what's happening in acute care setting and community care setting today. This qualification um, has a packaging rule which means that you have to do 15 units and the great thing is if you have got any other qualifications we are going to do recognized prior learning means you will be um, you will be given credit for that so you don't have to do it and so of the 15 units there are seven core units and the core units will be focusing on how to effectively communicate in a healthcare setting so as I said once you're in acute care setting you'll be dealing with doctors nurses everyone that is involved in providing the holistic care of your patient so that is something we are going to teach you is how to best communicate patient care so that there's continuity of care and the other areas that we will be looking at is the body system uh, we will look at uh, the human body in detail some of the diseases that is quite common and what will be the ways we can prevent these illnesses and diseases and um, with that we will be also looking at infection control and uh, WHS which is work health and safety and we will wrap it up we will wrap up the core units by making sure that you are able to organize your personal um, performance in a setting that is quite uh, 
quite easy for you to operate in and this is why here we are and in this setting we will give you a realistic training as I said before so the electives that you will study there are eight electives and we will be looking at assisting in um, nursing work in acute care and uh, there we'll be looking at how we can transport and move patients how do we monitor patient behavior how do we identify um, clinical symptoms when a patient is not feeling well? And also we'll be looking at uh, uh, the actual nursing care in the acute care environment. Because you have um, different settings within the hospital. You have your acute environment, such as your A&E, your ICU, and then you have the general medical surgical ward. So we'll be covering all these areas. And most importantly, we'll be also looking at how best you can provide non-client support in an acute care setting. So the non-client support, once again, we will take you through all our equipment. We will take you through our research trolley. We will make sure that you are able to identify all the equipments are in working order, what checks needs to be in place as required by the New South Wales health legislation and other uh, state legislation as well. So as you can see, it's a most interesting qualification and we will bring you lots and lots of um, new concepts, new ideas with new teaching tools and in this way we will make you a better clinician. So um, I look forward to seeing you all at O10. Thank you.